What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another cigar box review. And I know you're saying, Josh, Josh, we just did a cigar box review. That is true. But this one is from Pravada Cigar Club. And I reached out to these guys and they did send me a box to show y'all. So this is a sponsored video by Pravada. And I really got interested in these guys because I saw them online. Whereas most cigar club boxes are pretty much identical. I mean, what you get and what you pay for is pretty much the same. Pravada is the first one that is like doing this kind of different. And it really, really interested me, and I think it might interest you guys, so let's hop right into the box. Before we hop into the box, if you're wondering, if you're looking for a pretty decent, pretty good whiskey, but not really expensive at all, this is it. I think this is uh, 750 milliliters, and it was like $15, and it's pretty good. All right, into the box. This is what your cigars come in. It does have the Pravada Cigar Club 2017 logo on here, and it does come packaged with a Bovita two-way humidity control bag. Now, I haven't even opened this, so I don't even know what exactly is in here, so this is gonna be a, a new one for me. Usually I cheat and figure out what's in the box and look up some stuff about it so I can tell you, but we're just sticking right in here. And it does have a resealable thing right there so you can seal it back up. And it does come with three cigars. We'll get to these in a second. It does come with the Bovita pack and then it also comes with one of the uh, Bovita packs in this resealable bag. So that is pretty cool. And there already, it is different than other cigar club boxes that I've tried. And another thing that really sold me on Pravada that I really, really wanted to try them that really made them so different than anything else is I really enjoy smoking a cigar and trying to pick out different tastes in it, in the cigar, and then trying to pair it with different whiskeys or bourbons or food. This comes with it. Looks really cool. It's not just a plain white piece of paper and really, really neat. But Brian, who is the owner, uh, already has, I mean, look, it's, like two full pages of stuff typed out. It's got the name of each one, description, backstory, all the information you'd want to know about the cigar, which is awesome, which is way far and beyond most other cigar club boxes that usually when you get those, they just come with a paper or a card and shows a picture of the cigar and just uh, not even a paragraph. It's just what the wrapper is, filler, who made it, where, and stuff like that, real simple stuff, and that's all the information you get about it. Uh, Brian here says everything about the cigar you could possibly want to know. Name and all of the information. Then he's got tasting notes, what he picked up while he was smoking the cigar. And then at the bottom, it has pairing notes. And it's got all of that for all three cigars that you have. All right, so let's just hop into one of these cigars. If you're wondering about this uh, new cutter, I got this off of Amazon for $10. Pretty sweet. It's got real wood on it, and I think it's stainless steel cutters and a little brass uh, knob right there that you just pop back and it splits open. It's pretty cool. 10 bucks, Amazon. So right now, the first one we're going on, and by the way, I am horrible at pronouncing stuff, so uh, you're just going to have to bear with me. Right now, we've got the Montenegro Red Label Corona, aged four and a half years. And that is something else that I found that's really cool. If any of these are uh, aged, 
He talks about that if they're special or a short run or something like that. All of that information is on this sheet. So that is really, really cool. All right, so let's read right into it. Uh, first, we're going to talk about uh, the information about the cigar, and then we're going to go over the tasting notes and then the pairing notes, which you can pair each of these cigars with to try and get the best out of it. So he talks about the Montenegro. It's a real good Cuban cigar, and it is aged four and a half years, which is pretty neat, and it balances smooth with some very robust Nicaraguan tobacco. For the tasting notes, this is what Brian got as he was smoking it which is really cool too that i'm going to enjoy trying to smoke this uh each of these cigars and read through his taste and notes and see if i can pick up all the ones that he did or if i think that he missed some so that's pretty cool so the taste and notes for this one he got honey cinnamon on the body the foot is a wonderful aroma of vanilla wood and sweet syrup it says the draw is firm and reminds him of lipton iced tea and pretzel so he gets uh Pretty in-depth here. That's going to be neat seeing if I can pick up the Lipton iced tea and pretzels. Picks up cinnamon spice, leather, cedar, and a duet of both cocoa and vanilla. He said he gets wood, cinnamon, white pepper, and sweet, thick maple syrup. He said in the final third, the strength picks up slightly with cinnamon, oak, chocolate, leather, and a beautiful nuttiness. So for his pairing notes... He puts down a fine cognate H rum, Belgium triple beer, wheat beer, a beta, white chocolate, maple syrup, tapioca pudding with whipped cream and cinnamon on top, Cinnabon and Tuscan cheeses and hard cheeses. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Let's move on up to the Davidoff, which Davidoff does make really, really good cigars. A lot of guys really love the different Davidoffs. This is the Davidoff Zeno Back-to-Back -back Limited Edition 2019. He says this is the 2019 version of their annual limited edition. It is a 7x52 torpedo that uses an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper over a Connecticut binder and fillers from the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. Said he retails for $15 and it is a limited to 2,500 canisters of 12 cigars. So that's pretty neat getting this thing in your box. And they only made 30,000 of these things and Pravada Cigar Club bought 10,000 of them. So it's going to be relatively hard to find these. And that's something else that I love about these, these limited edition small batch runs of these different cigars that Pravada talks about it and tells you about it. And you get to try it where a lot of people wouldn't be able to get a hold of this thing. So with his tasting notes, he says he gets a dried cedar with a tinge of honey on the body. The foot gives the same dried cedar with honey, but add the typical David off mustiness, earthiness. The cold draw has a milk chocolate and breads with some woods and slight herbs. Said he gets honey and hay along with different almonds. Creamy smoke with a light spice. Said in the second third, it becomes even better. It gets richer and sweeter. Rich tobacco, honey, cream, cedar, slight spice, and vanilla. The final third becomes less creamy, more cinnamon-like with slight grassy notes. That's something else that's really cool that Brian talks about in these, that as you smoke the different cigars, he can pick up different tastes as he goes through the cigars, and that's something that I find really cool while you're smoking it to constantly try and pick up the different tastes you can get as you're smoking the entire cigar. So on to the pairing notes. He talks about a tapioca pudding with whipped cream and cinnamon talks about eating anything cinnamon one to two hours before you smoke the cigar would be a good idea. Milk chocolates with cedar, a good brandy or cognac, fine aged rum, amber lager, white wine, root beer, which I'm definitely not doing that because I cannot stand root beer. And I'm sure a bunch of guys are going to get real ticked off about, oh my goodness, Josh, but yeah, I, I can't, I have never been able to do root beer. So that's totally out of the question when I smoke the cigar. A good cafe latte with cinnamon or green tea with honey and cinnamon. So I am really looking forward to smoking this Davidoff. All right, and on to the final cigar, Agnarosa Leaf Supreme Leaf Limited Edition. So these guys only made 5,000 of this particular cigar. 
and Pravada Cigar Club bought all of them. So the only way you're going to be able to smoke this guy is if you're a Pravada Cigar Club member. That is really cool. And he does say before one of the tasting notes that he would have a nice hearty meat before lighting this up and he wouldn't smoke it first thing in the morning. So on to the tasting notes. Pre-light, I get natural dried fruits on the body that remind me of an organic fruit roll up. He does say it is a bit balanced at first, but it will change drastically. He says he got a green apple, black pepper, cedar, and vanilla. He says this is still a very intense cinnamon on the finish and in the flavor. It starts out a little sour, but then turns sweet and fruity. And the second, third, cinnamon and pepper spice. It says it is sweet, but yet smoky like a peated scotch. Sweet sour apples, wonderful woods like oak, cedar, dried herbs, and vanilla. Gets a floral syrup, coffee, and caramel, followed by major nuttiness. Said the smoke gets rich and creamy at this point. Buttercream, chocolate, and nuts close out the stick. And pairing notes, he talks about red meat, dark roast coffee. <sighs> then on to the pairing notes. Said red meat and dark roast coffee, which I love dark roast coffee, so I'm probably going to try this over some coffee. Caramel mousse, caramel coffee drinks. Says to try a sliced green apple about 30 minutes prior to smoking with some bourbon, scotch, or cognac. Lagers, possibly even a pale ale. Chocolate cakes and desserts. Chocolate milkshake. Chocolate cakes and desserts. And a chocolate milkshake. So that is all of the cigars. I really, really love having this thing. This thing makes this box for me. He puts so much information about the different cigars and the different tastes he gets in each of the cigars and what to try and pair these with. Definitely keep hold of this and read this as I smoke each individual cigar to see if I can get all of the different tastes that he got from it and what I should pair each cigar with. So those are the three cigars from the Pravada Cigar Club. I would have to say that of some of the different cigar clubs that I have joined, this is a more in line with what I'm really, really interested in, in getting different cigars. And the different cigar club, the subscription boxes, especially if you're new to cigars or haven't tried a bunch of cigars, this is a real good way to broaden your horizon and try different cigars and it would be really cool because a lot of these cigars especially in this particular box it would be relatively hard to get a hold to and try them in some instances like this one in this box that you won't ever be able to try unless you're a Pravada Cigar Club member. I love everything about this box. Be sure to check out ProvadaCigarClub.com. This was a sponsored video, but I do not get anything from you signing up on a sub new subscription. They did send this box out for free to the channel so I could check it out and show you guys for the video. So be sure to check Pravada Cigar Club out. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you've tried Pravada or if you've tried any other cigar clubs how you like them, how you like this one, how you dislike them. I want to know all about it down in the comment section. And if you haven't yet, be sure to get subscribed to the channel. I have done different videos like this. I like doing a lot of man stuff. I do builds, make my own stuff. Be sure to check out all the videos on my channel and get subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.